Universe 2, another draw reaction video. Yeah, with three draws, uh, it is kind of busy. Uh, we talk, of course, the Europa League and the Europa Conference League draws, uh, which, uh, spoiler alert to me, they were not as beautiful in as a whole as, were the, um, uh, as was the Champions League draw. Uh, mainly because uh, we didn't achieve this separation of the favorites. Uh, we will have in both cases probably a outsider-ish team making a final, whereas the big boys are gunning at each other. Um, I would say we'll look first at the Europa League draw, uh, which at least from the matchups more or less separate the, fav the favorites, although the potentially... I don't really want to say because it, 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 it's always bad to say but the teams that everyone kind of look look as probably the least favorite ones uh, with Braga and Rangers they play each other those, those were the last two left which is always a little bit if you're looking for a balance draw a little bit of a downer uh, on the other side it's also great because we will see a true outsider moving on uh, so you know take it uh, as it comes However, we also see uh, we will see because of that draw suddenly uh, their potential semi-final opponents Leipzig and Atalanta who are rated far higher. Suddenly, a move towards the top of uh, who will win this uh, Europa League competition, which I find very very curious. And um, while I think at West Ham against Lyon, yeah, is um, is probably the marquee tie. Um, Lyon, I think, was in the top. Four four as far as I know just let me check that one to make sure no it was not so I mean that was actually fine draw and I actually thought um, this, this this is a very interesting matchup uh, we have also Eintracht Frankfurt against Barcelona which uh, I think Frankfurt fans will probably be happy uh, that with, with with that so uh, in that sense it was all kind of balanced it was only Leipzig against Atalanta it's the one where you think yeah this could be a semi-final more, more or less so um, in that sense having Braga Rangers against Leipzig Atalanta maybe is not that bad but um, I wish that you know let, let, let's say Braga and Leipzig exchange places or whatever that we have Leipzig Atalanta in a semi-final so this is now from a purely uh, a, 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 a view that is purely look looking at a balanced draw. However, overall, I think it's quite 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 exciting. We have uh, the best matchup is definitely Leipzig Atalanta. We have another German team that um, Atalanta need to face. Um, I don't want to say it's a different proposition because uh, Leverkusen and Leipzig are very similar with Leipzig maybe with a little bit more of an upset at the moment. So uh, not an easy draw for Atalanta. As I said, Barcelona and Frankfurt, both fans will be happy with that one. I think Braga and Rain Rangers both kind of look at this. Yeah, we might we have a semi-final uh, potentially there. Let's see uh, who will make uh, that one. Um, as I said, Leipzig now are the favorites uh, due to the fact that Barcelona will have, uh, if they move on over Frankfurt, where they're heavily favored. I mean, um, if I look at it, uh, Barcelona has a, is a two third favorite over Frankfurt, which uh, seems about right. Frankfurt being uh, pushed all the way to the bottom. But uh, given that they have to play them West Ham or Lyon is a tougher route. So they actually lose, lose a bit. They are just, just behind Leipzig uh, in uh, making, uh, in winning this Europa League, um, then I have Atalanta, West Ham, uh, Rangers, Lyon, Braga and Frankfurt. Moving on to the uh, Europa Conference League draw, I think the most interesting fact before we look at how the three set up to be, is that we first have got two rematches from the group stage, with Bordeaux Klimt against Roma being definitely the marquee one. Hey, I mean, um, I think every other opponent would have loved to play Bordeaux Klimt. Although I'm not so sure anymore because they are really hard to play against and their season in Norway is about to start as well so uh, they get a little bit more in a rhythm. The one team that they don't want to play Bodo Klimt is Roma. Remember the 6-1? Yes, it was a reserve team but I'm not sure how Roma will deal with Bodo Klimt. <laughs> they are of course favored, 63% 63, 63 of moving on, uh, but to be honest, I think Roma did not want to see Bodo Klimt. And then we have Feyenoord Slavia, which um, I 
almost forgot about it. And but, but I thought, um, uh, when I look, look, look at the jersey, Wolverine Rasa Feyenoord against Slavia, two very similar jerseys play against e each other. And then I realized, oh, they already played in the group stage against e e each other, where Feyenoord largely prevailed. I think it's very in interesting. It also would have meant if Lask would have moved on, they would have played against uh, former captain Trauner, uh, which would have been a nice duel. So we have those two rematches from uh, the group stage of the Conference League, which I think is is actually quite interesting that you know uh, that this happened in the draw. I'm personally not a fav favorite of meeting an opponent again, but you know, it was at least uh, a, a nice thing to have there. Then Marseille drew Pauk. Um, I'm wearing Pauk. I think of all the big opponents that Pauk could draw, Marseille is, the, is a big name, but uh, it seems to be not, uh, you know, Marseille is very up and down. It can go either way. Marseille, of course, will also fancy themselves in that one. Then we had Leicester against PSV, which is the marquee matchup in that round. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, those are two teams that I I probably would favor Leicester a little bit, although my model says PSV is a little bit better. PSV is a really, really strong team, So, uh, but also consistency is the problem with PSV. And uh, if PSV are in a title race, they might actually want to focus on that maybe a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we didn't get any um, uh, within country matchups, which would have been possible, you know, if a fan of play PSV. But if I look at the tree, I think this is where I have a bit more trouble here than I had with the other one, because uh, we already know Leicester, PSV and Roma were the three fav 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 to win it, and only one will make the final. Because whoever will go in, uh, they will face them uh, the, uh, each other in the semifinals. So we have Feyenoord, Slavia, Marseille and Pauk for the other finalist, which I th find totally intriguing because whatever team gets in there, it is a traditional team. So we will get, a, I think the Europa Conference League will get a final uh, that will be very representative. Um, there will be a sort of big team from a, from a, a country in there, uh, but it is not one of the DD top teams, whereas up there, Leicester, PSV, Bode Glimt and Roma, um, I think this is the heavyweight and whoever goes in there is, the, is definitely favored in the final. At the moment, um, thanks to Roma having only Bode Glimt, and I, and I again say, Roma will not be happy with that draw at all. But uh, despite that, Roma are at the moment favorites uh, to win it all, 19% ahead of PSV, who are a 52% favorite over Leicester, who are in third place with 17%. So it's 19% or slightly over 90% for Roma, uh, slightly below 90% for PSV and then Leicester City. Marseille is the odds on favorite to make it uh, to the final from the lower uh, branch, but they are only then have a 13% chance and Feyenoord an 11% chance. Uh, then it's Bode, uh, Slavia and Pauk, the way it pans out. So yeah, I think it's an interesting draw. Um, I, of course, am looking already how it might work out with jerseys because this might very well inform uh, future jersey purchases, uh, especially going into the semifinals. So uh, let's see how this will pan out. In any case, please let me know your thoughts on these two draws. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.